Hi everyone, Kevin here from Golf Guy Reviews, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the brand new Nike Air Max 1 Mesh Golf Shoes. Now, these are brand new for 2020 and have got an updated upper compared to last year's synthetic leather versions. So, we're gonna take a look in this video, let you know what they're like on feet, take a look at some of the design elements, and see how much of a difference the Mesh upper makes. I really hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, hit that like button. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all my latest reviews of golf shoes, clothing and tech right here on Golf Guy Reviews. Starting with a quick recap, and last year Nike released the Air Max 1G golf shoes. And if you haven't checked out my video before, there's a link above there so you can go check out my review of those. I really, really like those shoes, but the slight hesitation that I had with them was that I wasn't too keen on the upper material that they used. Uh, they used a synthetic leather upper, and it suffered a little bit from a lack of breathability, and just generally felt a little bit cheap and a little bit plasticky. Um, so I was really, really happy when Nike announced new for 2020, an updated version of the Air Max 1G. And in this version, they are using this mesh material. So they've got rid of the full synthetic lever upper and replaced it with this lightweight, breathable mesh. Now, generally, I think it's been a vast improvement to the shoe. I think it's helped with the design and style of the shoe uh, and certainly has helped from a breathability standpoint. However, I'm not 100% sold on it and I do wish that they perhaps would have used a slightly different material, but we'll come on to that in a bit. In terms of the overall look of the shoe, apart from the upper, not a lot has changed at all. Uh, and when I say not a lot, I don't think anything has actually changed, which isn't a bad thing. It's a good looking shoe and can certainly be used for on and off the golf course. It actually looks like a stylish, modern, up-to-date golf shoe, uh, as well as a stylish, modern, up-to-date trainer. So in terms of the looks, I think it's a real cracking looking shoe. You can see that it's got here the mesh upper material uh, with some dimpling effects right across it. You've then got a bit of a hot melt plastic overlay, which is adds to the stability. Uh, you've got your Nike swoosh on the side, uh, and then you've got some decal on the back there, and you've got the decal on the front of the tongue too. You've still got a little bit of the synthetic leather material from the original that you can just see wrapped around the toe of the shoe there, and it goes right the way around to the back as well. And you know, that's helping with the style and design, and it's also helping make sure that you're not gonna get the mesh too dirty during your golf swing as you rotate and twist through on the turf, then hopefully that's gonna get caught by this synthetic leather instead of the mesh, which is gonna get marked up a little bit easier. Interestingly as well, in terms of this plastic overlay that I highlighted earlier, you can see here, I don't know if you can quite see that on the camera, it's quite thin here on this aspect of the shoe. So it's getting some support, but it's not too stiff. But as you come around the rear of the shoe, it actually gets thicker in this area here. I don't know if you can quite make that out. So it's giving you a lot more stability in the heel of the shoe there where you might need it more. In terms of the colorway, Nike have provided four different versions in this new mesh version for 2020. Personally, I think this one looks the best. In terms of a summer golf shoe, this is really crisp and clean, and I think that looks absolutely great. So I mentioned earlier that I had a slight issue with the new mesh upper that Nike are using on the 1G. Uh, and it's not in regards to the breathability. I think it has a great job uh, and certainly improves on last year's version. My only issue is that it's not waterproof. So that means this is now strictly a summer shoe. Now, if you play golf in the UK, then even on the sunniest day, it's always in the back of your mind that you think it might rain at some point. Um, and I just wouldn't want to ruin these really, really nice, clean looking shoes given that they're gonna get damp because you're on a golf course. You're gonna walk through some dewy grass sometimes, and ultimately, if you're wearing these, then your feet are gonna get wet, um, and they're gonna mark up and stain easier. Now, Nike have got their Flyknit technology, which they've just announced that they're gonna be using in their brand new Air Zoom Infinity Tour golf shoes. Um, so why couldn't they have put that technology in this shoe? To be honest, I would have paid the extra money to have a breathable sock-like upper material that is waterproof. Um, they're golf shoes, they're gonna get wet. Uh, I just think Nike have missed a trick on that one. Maybe it's something we'll see in a future version of the 1G, uh, but for now, these are gonna be strictly a summer golf shoe. One of the things that I do really like about the styling of the new 1G is just some of the textures and the up-close design elements that you can see on the shoe. Uh, I really like the pattern that the mesh creates there, um, and actually I like the dimpled effect that this plastic area produces as well, that overlays on top of the mesh. Uh, and you've got a little bit of texture on the Nike swoosh as well. You can probably just make that out there. Um, and even on the rear, you know, it just looks nice and simple, but nice and styled. And from front on, I think it looks absolutely great. Now, what I really like about these new Air Max 1G golf shoes 
is that you can use them for golf and you've got this grip and the support and the stability that you're gonna need to be able to play a full 18 holes of golf, but actually they look like proper trainers. These are genuinely stylish looking trainers. You can wear them with a pair of jogging bottoms and they look absolutely great. You wouldn't know that they were golf shoes unless you really looked hard at the grip. You can wear them with a pair of shorts because they're low cut enough and light enough that you can get away with. Uh, and I think they still look really, really cool to wear out on the golf course in the summer. And they're stylish enough that I would feel perfectly comfortable wearing these for a round of golf and then wearing them out afterwards. These are totally a pair of golf shoes that you can wear on and off the course. So for that, I really, really like them. In terms of comfort, you've got a full length file on midsole there, uh, which is exactly the same as you had on last year's Air Max 1G and exactly the same air bubble as well, giving you that old school look and adding to the comfort on the heel area of the shoe. Uh, you've got the same inner sole as well that you had on last year's 1G. Uh, if I just pop that out there, uh, yeah, that looks exactly the same. Uh, there's nothing particularly special going on with that inner sole whatsoever. Uh, it's pretty thin actually, uh, so it's not going to provide huge, huge levels of comfort on the bottom uh, of your feet there. But then that's exactly the same as last year's version anyway. So in terms of the comfort levels of the shoe, they feel pretty much exactly the same as last year's. They're a comfortable shoe. They're not groundbreakingly comfortable, uh, but they feel good enough that I would have no problems playing 18 holes in these. In terms of grip and Nike are using exactly the same sole as last year's version. It's also exactly the same sole as the Air Max 97 golf shoes, which if you've not seen yet, you can check out a link above there. Uh, again, they're a different classic trainer that's been turned into a golf shoe uh, that I really, really liked. Again, suffer from the same issue of these is that they're not waterproof as well. But if you want to check out that review, go have a look. Uh, but in terms of the grip, this is what Knight call their articulated integrated traction system. And you can see here, it's a rubberized sole that has got a decent amount of grip on the bottom of it there. And it's quite stiff as well. Um, so this grip, I don't think it's gonna wear down. Uh, and there's quite a few jagged elements on it. So you can see here, certain elements of the sole pattern there just point straight down and you've got the same there. And you've got then these elements here on this side and this element on the front there are pointing towards each other. So that's gonna help with the grip during the golf swing, the way that you twist your shoe when you strike the ball. Uh, generally, I think it's actually quite a good grip levels on this golf shoe. Uh, it actually performs really, really well. It's got enough grip on it that I would certainly be comfortable using it in damp conditions. Not that I'd be wanting to use it in damp conditions because the upper isn't waterproof, not to bring that up again, sorry. Uh, but I wouldn't wanna be using these in really, really wet conditions uh, because I don't think it would give me quite enough grip that I'd be looking for. But in most conditions that you're gonna be playing in golf in, these are gonna be absolutely fine. So with the shoes on feet, I've gotta say that I'm a little bit surprised because even though these new versions are using the mesh upper to help with the breathability of the shoe, they fit and feel pretty much the same as last year's version, which used the synthetic leather. Now, of course, these do feel more breathable, which is absolutely key, and I think that was something that he definitely needed to improve for these shoes. However, in terms of the fit, they fit true to size, but they do feel quite tight across the top of the midfoot. Personally, I would have preferred a little bit more room in that midfoot area, uh, so it gives it a little bit more of a comfort feel. Now these might give and break a little bit because you have still got that synthetic leather toe overlay, but I just thought that using the mesh material might have given the actual feel of the shoe a little bit more give uh, and not been so tight and restrictive around the midfoot area. They fit really well in terms of the heel and there's no slip in there. The new mesh does feel nice and lightweight and certainly does feel more breathable than last year's synthetic leather versions. So they've definitely made an improvement there. In terms of the support that these golf shoes give you, uh, Nike have done a fairly good job uh, sticking with the original design and not compromising on that while still ensuring that they give you enough support that you can still use them as a golf shoe. So the overlay section here actually helps to firm up the mesh material a little bit. There is still some give on there, so these certainly aren't gonna be the most supportive golf shoes you're ever gonna try on in your life, but they do the job well enough for the most part. If you're someone that really, really focuses and needs as much support as possible in your golf shoe, then unfortunately, these might not be the golf shoes for you. But for the majority of people out there, whether you're using these on the course or whether you're using them down the range, they're gonna give you enough support and you shouldn't have too many problems. In summary, I'm happy with the update that Nike have made to the upper of the Air Max 1G golf shoes. I just wish that they could have made them waterproof. 
that would have really given them so much more mass market appeal, I feel. In terms of a summer golf shoe, I think these are really, 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 really good looking. Uh, and I've not got a problem with rocking a pair of these on the golf course as well as off the golf course. I think they look absolutely fantastic. It just that that breathable mesh upper isn't waterproof is going to limit their use, certainly here in the UK. Let me know in the comments what you think to the update of the new Air Max golf shoes. Do you like this new mesh upper? What do you think of the styling? And does it put you off that they're not waterproof? Let me know down below. It'd be really good to see what you think. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all my latest reviews of golf shoes, clothing and tech right here on Golf Guy Reviews.